Hey guys, it's Kristen with Simply a Stewart, and I had a viewer ask about our mid like week calls. We go weekly usually to Aldi and stock up on mostly produce and you know sometimes a few odds and ends in between our big Costco runs. And so I decided this week that I would go ahead and share that real quick with you. I actually have a few bonus things. We have something called Azure Standard, and it's like a drop. Um, where you can like order food and they ship it on a big tractor trailer and they have drop points That usually only comes like twice a year if we're lucky most of the time it doesn't come So I don't even count on it and I had happened to put an order in a while ago and it was still sitting and processed this um, Month and so I have a few bonus things like I mentioned that I picked up there this morning So I will show you guys that all right So this is what we got Back here in the back, I actually have a second box of these. This cereal is, if you've seen my Vitacost hauls, is some of the cereal that we get. My kiddos um, have cereal a couple times a month, uh, just kind of as a treat. And it, it's, it's really usually our Sunday morning breakfast um, because my husband and I get up and have a breakfast and um, kind of sit and hang out together. And they hurry up and just have some cereal and some fruit and go watch cartoons because we don't do that kind of thing any other morning. So... I went ahead, it was cheaper to buy like a big group of them, so I bought what was actually two full cases, so there's 12, but the other cases over there, um, of these, and so I will just keep those on hand, they will last, they'll be shelf stable, I have these really big cabinets over here that mostly have my eBay inventory, but all the cabinets on the bottom have extra food in them, so I will hang on to those for that. Then I got this big, sorry, you can probably hear my dogs, we were out running, and so they're so hyper. We have this um, five pound bag of coconut flour. You can see my coconut is getting a little bit low back there. And so I will fill that up. And then I picked up these golden raisins. Uh, my husband really prefers golden raisins to the regular um, and the regular dark raisins. So I decided we give those a try. I love the fact that they're non-GMO. So, alrighty. And then on to the Aldi. Okay, so we got some of this actually has been broken into. Like we got some apples, but my kiddos had apples in the car to snack on because we were at, um, we're just having lunch now. They're working on it over there. And we were out through lunchtime and they were really hungry. So we got two bunches of bananas. We got two bags of these mandarins. All right, so we got these two bags of mandarins. My kiddos really like these, and I really like them because when they're whining, they're kind of hungry in between a snack or a meal. I can say, just go grab a mandarin. And so we have those. We have three bags of apples. If you have followed me for any time, you know that we usually have apples for our morning snack during our read-alouds. I am a homeschool mom, and so we have like a circle time, and we go ahead and cut up an apple for everybody, and they can have it while I do some reading aloud to them and some group subject material. And then we got these um, organic tomatoes. They're just the little like cherry tomatoes. And these will be for um, salads for this week for lunch. We did get a Dijon mustard. This is the type of thing that I would usually pick up um, during the week, like during our big haul. But somehow this got missed and we are running low on it. I do use this in our um, homemade dressing. And we wanted to try out a like a honey mustard chicken that uses the Dijon mustard with raw honey um, this month out of Daniel, one of Daniel Walker's books. So I picked that up. And then we got one thing of organic grapes. My kids love grapes, but they are expensive when they are organic. Um, usually we don't even have these um, towards this time of year, so I'm surprised we still do. But So since we did, I went ahead and I picked one up. Back there are two pineapples. We cut those up and we use them for breakfast during the middle of the, like during the week time. And so um, every day, but cereal day, usually, usually that day they'll get like a hard boiled egg and a banana or something. So we go ahead and we have pineapple. We also got a bag of pears. These ones, unfortunately, are not organic. They didn't have any this time. Um, they've been having some occasionally, which is really nice. But so we picked up one of these. So I'll make sure I wash those real good in our thieves cleaner. Um, again, these are not organic. Our Aldi does not ever. I've never seen organic um, mushrooms there. But I picked up five packages. I tend to get the Bella, like the baby Bella mushrooms. That's my preference. 
um, but they were, these ones were 89 cents and the Baby Bellas were $1.89. So if I'm buying organic, I will spend more, but just between the two, I'm not going to spend that much more since these ones were on sale. That's what we got. We did get one orange juice back there. Sometimes we, we do fill in with this. Um, my husband and I and the kids, we like we take our vitamin C with a little bit of orange juice. So since we do ascorbic acid, it's um, very sour. And so that helps uh, take the edge off of it. We got two of these uh, organic spring mix. And these are, I think these are like four like $4.99 maybe, somewhere around that range. Um, and they're just mixed greens, and we use these for salads. They're really easy just to throw in our big Pyrex dishes and then top with whatever we're going to have in it. And we did get one thing of spinach, which my kids are dying for so that they can make their smoothies over there. So I'm going to pass this over to them. But we did get a little container. These ones are like $2.49. There you go. And we did get one bag of these frozen chicken tenderloins. I do use these from time to time. I like to keep a bag stocked up in the freezer in case we need them. And we are out, so I just picked up one of those. So that is everything on the table that we got. So that was everything we got. The um, Azure stuff was like a separate payment. Um, like I said, it's not something that we do very frequently or I would be able to order more of our groceries, but we never know when it's going to process because we live in the boonies. And so there's not a lot of people who A, eat like us and B, who are around here to kind of order. So um, I was grateful to get what we got from that. But my trip to Aldi today was, I think it was $60.40. Uh, $60 so that gives you an idea of what I'm spending in between, roughly between 50, around 50 to $75. Depends on how much we have from the garden. Right now we don't have anything from the garden except for sweet potatoes we still need to harvest in another week or so. And then the stuff that we've like frozen, um, like our squashes and things like that that we've shredded and frozen. So if you guys like these fill-in hauls, please give this video a thumbs up. You guys can check out my full grocery hauls in my grocery list, um, grocery haul playlist. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.